Well, as we continue to honor our vets tonight, a former Marine wounded in action shares his story. He's among several veterans honored Thursday in Cahoma County. The Delta News, Andrea Williams reports. Honoring veterans, organizations in Cahoma County and dozens of volunteers take a special moment to honor the courageous men and women who place their lives on the line for the sake of us all. During the program, veterans were collecting donations for veterans in Clarksdale who say they lack a building to handle business, a copy machine, internet, and other resources needed to carry out their daily responsibilities. There's a lot of forms and a lot of paperwork that we need to have. We don't have any, any place to assist veterans or even for shelter. Clarksdale, Mississippi don't have a homeless shelter for veterans. Comrades, community members, Cahoma County supervisors, and even Mayor Chuck Espy gave words of wisdom and love to each veteran present. People are very respectful and thankful to all of our veterans that have served from Mississippi and all across the United States. They sacrificed their time and their family. Many have made sacrifices for our freedom, just like Samuel G. Wilson Jr., who served the country from 1968 to 1972. I knew that God was good and he was going to take care of me. He enrolled in the Marine Corps straight out of high school and he still carries his battle wounds. We had been in a firefight and I had gotten some, some wounds on my right arm. And a couple of days after this, we had gotten sprayed with some stuff. We didn't know what it was, but I, you know, we put on, put on a gas mask and cleared them. And uh, later on, I found out that it was Agent Orange that they had sprayed us with. And then he developed a tumor and lost his arm. All gave some, and some gave all. Though Mr. Wilson has faced many challenges in his lifetime, he doesn't have any regrets. Through all the pain, through the suffering and everything else, you learn that life is worth living and worth, being, worth doing things for other people. Great words there. The Delta News, Andrea Williams with that report in the local VFW Post accepts donations mailed at 526 3rd Street.